Hey folks, I'm Chris and this is Short Pours. Today I have a Short Pours review of a blended Canadian whiskey called The Boneyard. What they've done over the years is taken about a liter from each of their whiskey releases and blended it all into casks. So, essentially it's a mix of a rye, a single malt, a maple whiskey, a peated malt, and more. Each ranging from four to seven years. Should be definitely unique, complex, and probably rich. We're looking at 46% here. So, let's give it a pour. Color-wise, it's lighter than I kind of expected. This looked a bit darker in the bottle, but it's got sort of a light uh, butterscotch, maybe. On the nose, okay, so that is complex and rich. They're not lying. There's a lot happening here. It's kind of like I opened a pack of cow tails or candy corn, like chewy, sugary candy. There's also a nice winter warmth to it uh, with spices and cloves and nutmeg and something a bit odd, maybe fresh hops. Fresh hops and peat. Mm. Texture's medium body, a little oily. Quite oily, actually, uh, in a good way. Mm. I'm not disappointed, definitely complex. Caramel on the nose, I'm not quite getting here. Instead, it's like a subtle malt with bitter dark chocolate. Maybe a bit of maple in there and a jamminess like raspberry. There's definitely bitterness like that dark chocolate and those winter spices on the nose are still here, but more of a rye spice. It's sweet, it's fruity, it's spicy all at once. Really interesting. It finishes really long and dry, which I really like. Uh, and that peat really picks up. Yeah, and, and, and sort of like a bitter hops, peat and bitter hops. Before we wrap this up, take a moment to hit the logo in the corner and subscribe. And do me a favor, hit the share button. I bet you know at least one person who would be interested in trying this bottle. Hmm, I like it. This bottle comes from Odd Society, a Vancouver-based distillery that likes to think they combine old world distilling traditions with new ingredients. They are celebrating 10 years. The bottle and label are really nice. They've got some fun line art designs and neat illustrations. I don't think it's the nicest quality of label, but it's kind of cool on the shelf. Wrapping it up here, some final thoughts. By now you probably know I like a good blend, and this one is interesting. You take a sip and it takes you all over the place whether you like it or not. I definitely enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing how it opens up over the next few weeks. Given the bitter dark chocolate and the hops on the palate and nose, I think this would pair really nicely with a dark chocolate dessert or something like a sticky toffee pudding, uh, which would really complement the winter spices and the jamminess. If you are in Vancouver and you'd like something new and interesting, go pick this one up. It's just shy of $80 a bottle. I believe it won a award at the Canadian Whiskey Awards in 2024 for excellence in innovation. If you've tried this one, I'd love to know your thoughts below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much.